How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to unlock 95 overall player of the month, Byron Buxton for free in MLB The Show 21. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the very first thing you're going to do is go into the monthly award program, check out all the stuff that's included within it, right? It's kind of loading in here. We get some golds, we get some diamonds, we get the tops now packs as well. So keep that in mind, right? You are getting a lot of stubs, a lot of free players, a lot of free diamonds. And this is the best thing for no money spent players in general. And I am going to go through all of these card attributes, but I want to talk about how to unlock this 95 overall player of the month Byron Buxton for free because there is a collection that you have to complete in order to unlock this card but you can earn all these diamonds and golds for free simply by completing the tops now missions as well as these April moments and collecting these April player of the month players so with that said we're going to go ahead and go through these moments there is actually a bug within one of them right you have the tops now 2021 right below the monthly awards and these are the moments that you want to complete. If you so happen to sell all of your Tops Now players, then you won't necessarily be able to unlock this Byron Buxton. But once you go into this mission against Danny Duffy, it is invalid. It does not let you start it up. But this program can still be completed. I've seen a couple people complete it. I've gotten the notification while I'm making this video. Here are you know a couple screenshots and everything of the entire program. I think this is a great selection. You know, we were able to predict four out of like six of these April diamonds and four out of six of these players in general. Uh, there might actually be a couple more. But with that said, uh, you can collect this Byron Buxton card for free. Obviously, you can't sell them. It says right there, no sell. But you want to go into the moments, complete the moments in general. You'll have to skip that Danny Duffy mission for right now. They're probably going to patch it and fix it so that people can complete it. But with that said, once you have unlocked a couple of those golds, there are some missions that go along with this, you know, Cedric Mullins and uh, a couple of these players early on, like Danny Duffy, right? You can complete missions, not the moments, the missions that can unlock you another one of these cards. You complete the mission and moments uh, with those cards and you keep earning these players, right? You keep earning these player of the month rewards and they're definitely usable. They're definitely usable in ranked seasons, but you're also earning some of those tops now packs, right? You keep those players if you want this Buxton and you lock them in. You can pretty much create almost an entire team full of these tops now and player of the month players if you just recently got the game, right? If you just got the game today, you can go through, complete the Tops Now moments, as well as these April Player of the Month missions and moments, and you can have a pretty good squad, you know, without spending any money, just by grinding out some of the stuff that just happened in the last month in the Major League Baseball season. And I think that that's really cool. And a lot of these players are, are really good. I was kind of surprised to see a Shohei Otani that only plays the outfield. You know, I did kind of predict a Shohei Otani card. I wasn't sure, you know, would they go with a diamond that's similar to the face of the franchise we had in last year's game who could pitch and hit. This one's just a left fielder, but he's certainly good. I mean, he's got good speed. He's got a cannon. He's got good power. He's a great bench bat. If you know, if you already have a great team and you're looking just to add some firepower to your bench, I think that all these cards could be usable or playable somewhere. Uh, Justin Turner, I wasn't expecting this card, but he obviously had a great month. I had no idea, to be honest with you, but um this card looks pretty good he has a very high leg kick and an interesting swing not really my favorite but i know that that's all personal preference as well just going off the attributes these cards are all good uh you also have to keep in mind that they have live series quirks and i'm going to explain what that means and a little bit about what that does for the game so this vladimir guerrero jr is looking great he did not originally have third base as a secondary position they have added that to this card since he's been released so that's kind of cool uh, but he does have the live series quirks, right? Breaking ball hitter, first pitch hitter, night player. Those quirks right there are all active quirks. When you're playing at night, you're going to see an increased PCI. You're going to see increased exit velocities. You're going to have a little bit of boost to contact. You're going to have less of a penalty moving the PCI drastically to the baseball. Same thing on the first pitch. Same thing when they throw a curveball. All three of those quirks can stack, right? If he throws a first pitch curveball at a night game, Look out, that thing's blasted over the fence. All of these players will have those active quirks if they have you know, some quirks on their live series cards. Sometimes they're added in, 
Uh, we saw that happen last year with finest players and whatnot, but this Corbin Burns is certainly effective. This card's going to be extremely good. The lowest thing on his card is, you know, stamina. Everything else is pretty decent. Pitching clutch matters a lot, so uh, the 76 overall there is not the greatest. But with that said, if you give up a leadoff home run with this card, he will start to pitch better. If you're playing at home in the daytime, you know, at a created stadium, something like that, he would have a slight boost to his hits in K per nine. The opponent's PCI will be a little bit smaller. The timing windows start to shrink in a little bit from what I've noticed and from my personal experience with the game. Uh, but Byron Buxton is definitely an end game card. I mean, this card, if you parallel him to the fifth tier, he'll have 91 arm strength. His contact will be at 88. His power will be at 99. He'll have 90 power against left. I mean, this card is insane. He has a different swing in this year's game as well. I faced his 87 overall diamond, and I noticed that he doesn't have a one-handed swing, right? He has a two-handed swing. This card might be um, very good for a long time in MLB The Show, and you can get this card for free. I'm going to try and grind out a few of these missions and moments upcoming here to try and unlock this card. Uh, with that said, you know, I currently don't have all the Tops Now missions and moments completed, but I am going to try and get that done. We also have a brand new player in Adam Wainwright added to the pack store for a headliner card. I think this card's really good. He also has some hitting attributes. Um, he's a closer, so how often would he actually get in at bat? I don't know. But you can use this card as a pinch hitter, I guess. If you run out of other options to use, he might be your go-to player. But that's how you unlock... 95 overall bucks in for free. I wanted to talk about, you know, the content today. I was working when they released it all. But after taking a look at some feedback, after taking a look at everything, I think that this bucks in card is really good. All in all, you know, a lot of free diamonds, a lot of really good cards that you can unlock simply by grinding the game. Uh, I'm all for it. You know, in previous years, you had to purchase packs and collect a bunch of cards and people would invest in limited edition player of the month players because there was only a certain amount of packs and all that so with the way they're doing it now i really think is a lot better with that said you also get you know bat skin some some stuff within the game balling as a habit packs i think it's cool they've implemented some tops now packs i think it would be really cool you know to see maybe a 42 legend pack one of those special edition legend packs um, I know that the servers have been acting up and that would be a great idea in terms of compensation for the community, right? Just give everybody one of those 42 legend packs for free in the pack store. I think that the amount of stuff that MLB The Show has given us for free though has been, you know, above and beyond. I think it's been amazing. Uh, those are kind of just my thoughts, some things I'm thinking about, but that's how to unlock the 95 overall Byron Buxton. I'm College Lefty and hopefully I helped you out in some way. Peace out.